Hey guys, Super Brolix back with another Just Cause 3 video, and in this one I'm going to be showing you where to get the best car in the game, in my opinion. So, first things first. Fast travel to either Cloudy Crevice, Crevasse, Tour, not sure how to pronounce that, or Snowy Peak Blast, but if you haven't got either of them, then go to Falco Maxim Centcom. It's at the top of Montana, you'll see it, you'll, you can see that little outline of the warehouse there. I'll put the coordinates of the location into the description as well, don't worry about that. So I'm standing on top of it just to be, make things difficult, so drop through the middle. Now the cars are located at the back, yeah that's the front over there. Now I'm, I've got no idea if the police will usually be crawling around here because I've liberated everything so I don't really see that many police around, so anyway. When you get here, you get three spawns, and oh, I'm not sure which one I should take now. Uh, I'll take the middle one. You can just hear that. You can just hear how powerful it is, and the handling on this thing is really good, actually. But yeah, once. Wow, well, I almost flipped the car as soon as I say that. Wow. But yeah, once you've got it, you're gonna want to stick it into your rebel drop. So you gotta take it to a shooting. You gotta take it to a garage. Now, I'm not entirely sure where the closest one is, but in the last, well, I tried making a video about this like half an hour ago, but I completely forgot to record any of it, so I was just there talking to myself for 10 minutes, which was really quite annoying, to be quite honest. But yeah, I took it to, where is it? It's down here. Yeah, I had to drive all the way down here. And I wasn't recording any of it. So. I I would show me driving. It's a bit rude. They're in, interrupting my video. But if you want to stick it into Rebel Drop, which I highly recommend. Because although there are three, they do keep respawning. But it's a bit of a hassle just to keep coming back there. And picking up a new one every time you inevitably blow one up. So put it into Rebel Drop and you'll be able to grab it whenever you have beacons, which is very useful indeed. Now, I only unlocked it for the first time in the video, which I forgot. Ooh, nice car. I only unlocked it for the first time in the video, which I forgot to record. So unfortunately, I have already unlocked it and I can't show you me processing it, which kind of sucks. But hey, such is life. But anyway. That is where the best car in the game is, in my opinion, and it really doesn't take too much effort to crash. It doesn't take too much effort to drive it through the roads, as long as you do it safely and don't drive it through. Although, on a interesting, an interesting point is that this car seems, it does seem fairly resilient to damage, as I did crash it quite a few times and it wasn't even smoking when I got it down the mountains. So that's something to note. But yeah, I hope you found it interesting, and if you found it entertaining, enjoyable, or even a bit useful, leave a like. Check out the rest of my check out the rest of my videos, and I'll see you in the next one.